Welcome to the August issue of The Pathologist. I'm the editor, Fedra Pavlou, and I'm going to guide you through this month's issue. So first up, our upfront section. And we report on New York's controversial ban on pathologists directly interacting with patients and the community's continuous attempts to repeal it. And we look at some exciting new tests that are being researched, a urine test for pancreatic cancer, and even a saliva test for Alzheimer's. This month we launch a new section, In My View, where Juan Rosai tells us it's time to look at alternatives to conventional autopsy, while Mario Plabani highlights the high price of diagnostic errors. In this month's cover feature, Malur Sadanva helps navigate through the complexities of new developments in viral diagnostics offering guidance on what technologies are good now and what's on the horizon. In In Practice, we report on the merits of RNA as a biomarker and examine why it lags behind DNA and proteins in the pathologist's toolkit. Next up, NextGen, and Jay Yi tells us how the artificial intelligence approach to report development has helped him improve the accuracy of his pathology reports and the efficiency of developing them. In Profession, Han Van Krieken discusses the challenges that plague pathologists today and stresses the importance of communication, cross-discipline collaboration, and the need to adapt to new technologies. And we conclude by sitting down with Professor of Pathology and Lab Medicine at Emory University Hospital School of Medicine, Atlanta, Georgia, and the former president of the ABP and USCAP, Sharon Weiss. I really hope you enjoy reading this issue. Thank you. Thank you.